Buenos dias, Zamboanga Peninsula, Basilan, Sulu at Tawi-Tawi. Ako po si Mara Espinosa. Magsama-sama po tayo ngayong araw para sa ating Bantay COVID-19 Zampen Public Briefing. Hatid po sa inyo ng Philippine Information Agency, Mindanao Communicators Network, Mindanao Cable Television, e-media at iba pa mga media organizations. Mapapanood po ninyo ang kapihan na Zamboanga, ang ating uh, Bantay COVID-19 Public Briefing sa PIA Western Mindanao Facebook page. And we are also live via Mindanao Cable Television, HD Channel 9. 20, SD Channel 21 and Analog Channel 42 and we are also live via e-media mo Facebook page and DXNO Radio Comunidad Basilan. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Magkakaroon po tayong muli ng update patungkol sa ating COVID-19 status sa buong Zamboanga Peninsula at later on makakasama rin po natin ang ating special guest for our uh, bloodletting activity po na ikakandak dito sa Zamboanga City. So ngayon po uh, punta muna tayo sa sa Department of Health Region 9, Assistant Regional Director po, Dr. Joshua Brillantes. Doc, long time no see. Kumusta, Doc? Doc, wala, wala pong audio, Doc? Uh, uh, how about this one? Yes, Doc. We can yes, hear you uh, na po. Uh, okay. So, may magandang umaga and, um, and good day sa lahat ng mga Facebook followers natin and so sorry that um, wala tayo for more than a week kasi may mga other activities na medyo importante siya so we designated um, Dr. Dennis Dakayanan at magaling naman yun si Dr. Dennis Dakayanan to be with you and to report on the COVID updates of Sambuanga Peninsula Yes Doc, we miss you Doc for how many weeks po So now, Doc, can you tell us po on, um, or can you share with us po the status of our COVID-19 cases in Zamboanga Peninsula, Doc? Kumusta ato ang mga cases karun, Doc? Okay, uh, uh, first of all, uh, yung uh, overview mo na na on our country, no, the Philippines. So this is of August uh, 6. We have a total of... Uh, 47,587. So, these are active cases. No? And then, for the new cases, we have uh, 3,231. So, kung uh, observe natin na every day for the past uh, few weeks, hindi na uh, buwaba ng 1,000 yung cases natin nationwide. So, For the recoveries, we have a total of 66,270. No? So, meaning uh, they already have recovered. Um, Nandoon na sila sa buwalik na sa communities. And as of yesterday, we have a total of 222 additional uh, recoveries. So, this brings a total to 66,270. And then, ikakalukot na rin natin na uh, as of August 5, we have nine reported uh, mortalities or death. No? So, being a total of 2,128. So, more than, uh, na rin tayo sa 2,000 na uh, death. No? And for the total, uh, COVID cases, no? lahat ng active cases, lahat ng recovered and also those that uh, have died, we have a total of 115,980. So, for our, um, for the breakdown of our active cases, we have, um, this is out of the 47,587, kung i-breakdown natin ito, uh, we have uh, asymptomatic No, mayroon tayong 3,468 na asymptomatic. So, kung i-percentage natin, this is 73% of the total active cases. And then, yung mild naman, ito yung, uh, um, ito yung may marami tayo. No? We have 43,489 uh, active cases. So, this is 91.4. And then, for the severe cases, ito yung kailangan na, na may ICU, no, nakita na natin na may uh, talagang difficulty of breathing, and um, 
talaga na hospital na ito. So, we have a total of 371. So, this is 0.8% out of the 47,587. And then for our patient that has uh, ongoing uh, respiratory failure, you know, kailangan na ng uh, mechanical ventilators, then uh, this is uh, a total of 259. So, this is Uh, around 0.5% of all the total cases. Kaya, kung isum up natin itong dalawang severe at saka critical cases, especially uh, most of the cases are in Metro Manila, kaya nagpatupad uh, ng modified enhanced, uh, enhanced community quarantine ang Metro Manila at saka sa ibang provincia ng, um, ng Luzon because uh, Dumadami na sila, no? In fact, ang uh, mga hospitals ay already overwhelmed and, uh, of these um, critical and uh, severe cases. So, so yun, ang, yun ang kaso natin, no? Yun ang status natin for COVID-19 on our nationwide. So, for the regional um, case bulletin natin, no? so this is as of August. 5, 2020. So, we already have a total of 8,143. Lahat-lahat na ito, no? Suspect, we have the probable and confirmed cases. So, so kung i-break down na naman natin ito ulit, for the suspect cases, we have a total of 7,332 cases. And, Uh, for, for the probable, we have zero. For our confirmed case, we already have 811. So, ito ay yung hindi na natin dito isinama yung mga cases na na-diagnose or na, na, na kita doon sa NCR and also in Cebu City and other places. So, for the For the uh, for the this table shows no yung uh, mga active cases natin and also for those recoveries. So for San Juan del Norte, we have a total of twenty uh, one recoveries, and then for the active case cases, uh, they have a eight as of now. So yung total uh, confirmed cases natin for San Juan del Norte is thirty. No, kasi sinama na rin natin uh, yung isa na hindi na hindi yung nakita doon sa uh, NCI. So, for sa buwan ka uh, mayroon tayong a total case of 43 and um, yung recoveries ay 37 and then an active cases as of this time is 6 patients. Then for sa buwan ka Sibugay, Uh, yung total cases natin doon is 29. Um, kasama namin ito yung na-diagnose in Cebu and also in Metro Manila. So, for the recoveries, mayroon tayong 20. And then for the active cases, we have 7. For San Buanga City, um, as of August 5, we have a total of 660. And then for the Uh, recoveries, we have 341. And then for active cases, we have 297. And then for San Buanga City, mayroon dito naka-register yung uh, death natin ng COVID-19, which uh, already totaled to 20. Now for Isabela City, um, we have a total of 54 cases in Isabela City. Um, 33 recoveries in uh, 21 active cases. So, all in all, we have a total of 816. No, kanina, baka mga nito kayo, kanina we have a total of uh, 811 kasi hindi natin isinama yung na diagnose outside of Samuanga Peninsula. So, for the total recoveries, we already have a total of 452. And then for the active cases, we have 
39. Now for the next slide. Okay, so it, ito yung mga confirmed cases natin and death no, sa, sa as of August 5. So we have 28 new recoveries oh, as of August 5. And then we have, so we have a total of 452 uh, recoveries. Then for death, uh, mayroon tayong sampo. Mayroon tayong 20 na total deaths for sa buong Peninsula. Okay. So, ito yung mga, ito yung mga, uh, kaso natin, no? yung active cases natin, we have a total of 339. So kung i-break down natin ito, as to the severity of cases, we have 23% which is uh, mild cases. And then for the asymptomatic, we have 55%. For severe cases, we have 7 and for critical, uh, 0 tayo for critical cases. Now, um, for the top provinces and cities with new cases, now we have Sabuanga City, mayroon tayong 24, and then Isabela City, we have 6 cases. Okay, for, for the specimens naman natin, no, yung mga nakolekta natin um, for RT-PCR, so we have a uh, total of suspect cases with specimen collected, we have a, already a total of 7,890. So for the positive result, we have 811. And then with negative result, 6,970. So for the speci uh, for specimen still uh, to be sent to COVID-19 laboratory, we have 187. And for the specimen at COVID-19 laboratory in Sabuanga City that is still uh, pending the result, we have uh, 30. So for the uh, Ligtas COVID centers natin or yung mga isolation and quarantine facilities natin, um, for Sambuanga del Norte, we have a total of 142 TTMF. And then those that were uh, facilities that were certified by DOH. No, kasi kailangan natin certify yung mga facilities natin based doon sa standard na binibigay natin. No, na may dapat uh, sa isang room lang yung pasyente. Then they, they have may separate uh, comfort room tayo sa mga babae at saka sa mga lalaki. Then uh, yung lighting, yung mga communication at saka uh, yung nagmamanage ng TTMF dapat um, sinisertify natin ito para they will also be accredited sa PhilHealth because may subsequent na reimbursement especially kung may mga admissions doon. So for the total bed capacity for Sambuanga del Norte, we have 2,571. So yung total admissions nila is uh, 906. So, more or less, nasa mga 40% lang siguro yung uh, utilization. Now, for Sambuanga del Sur, yung uh, TTMF facilities nila, they have a total of 75. And those that were uh, certified is 20. And a total bed capacity of 896. So, as of this report, uh, they have a total of 445. So, more or less, nasa 50% yung Occupancy. Now for Sambuanga Sibugay, no? ito yung may pinakamaraming uh, TTMF. So, they have a total uh, facilities of 165, but only 6 were certified by DOH. And uh, they have a total bed capacity of 1,839. So, yung... Um, it yung occupancy nila is uh, 693, uh, more or less na sa 30 to 40% yung occupancy rate. And then for San Juan City, we have a total of 51 uh, TPMF facilities. Two were certified by DOH and 
out of this 52, they have a total bed capacity of 2,976. Now, for the uh, total admission, no, for the number of admission, they have 1,614. So, and then for Isabela City, they have a total uh, TPMF of three. Uh, none were certified by DOH. And this, have a tot this has a total uh, bed capacity of 290. And as of this report, they have a total of 98 admissions. So all in all, for the, for the province, um, for the region, pala, we have a total of 436 um, Ligtas COVID centers and 52 were certified by uh, DOH. And then we have a total uh, bed capacity of 8,572. Now, for the total admission, uh, we have a total of 3,756. 3, so, uh, kung titignan natin na sa mga 40% pa lang yung uh, beds that were occupied for the whole uh, peninsula. So, uh, I think these are all for our um, report, Mai. And um, is a flash dynamic yung uh, mga activities that um, that is still ongoing, you know, kasi maskin may COVID tayo, but still we implement uh, some programs na, na, na nakita natin na importante din, especially sa ating mga kabataan, because they can, this will also affect their lives and the development of our, the physical development and mental development of our children. So, um, number one uh, is we, sh we are still, uh, we would like to inform everyone that we are still uh, implementing the Sabayan uh, Gamutan Contra Bulati. So, this is from July and until August, so until now, this is still ongoing. So, for the whole region, uh, especially for the soil transmitted hel helminthiasis, no? these are mga bulate or sabi ni saya pa mga bitok na naagibuhi sa mga tiyan sa mga bata. So, ang yung uh, age na kailangan natin na mabigyan ng uh, anti-helminthi, no? yung uh, albendazole is 1 to 19 years old. This is for the whole region, no? Sabuanga and Sabuanga City, Isabela, and the three provinces. And then we also combine this with our cystosomiasis program. Although these are limited, no? In identify lang yung uh, mga lugar na mabibigyan ng uh, na gamot para sa cystosomiasis. So this is for 5 to 65 years old. So for some buwang nasibugay, mayroon tayo sa Alicia, Titay, Imelda, and Diplahan. Then for some buwang na din Norte, uh, kasama yung Pulangko, Pinyan, and Salug. For some buwang na din Sur, uh, mayroon tayo sa Aurora, Tambulig, uh, Mabon Magsaysay, Mulave, Mahayag, and Dumingag. So, kailangan natin na uh, we encourage especially yung mga magulang natin to bring their children. No? And also, so doon sa mga napiling lugar for cystosomiasis to take the, the uh, medicines na kailangan natin, kailangan ng mga bata to ensure na maalis natin itong mga bulati sa dyan. And also, we would like to congratulate our local government units, our frontline health workers, our barangay health workers, yung mga BNS natin, and also yung mga barangay officials for the successful implementation of our uh, Sabayang Patak Contra Polio. So, so we, yung ginawa natin ito last July and until August 2, um, yung pagpabakuna ng mga 
bata zero to below five years old in the rest of the for Sabuanga del Sur, Sabuanga del Norte, and Sabuanga Sibugay, and zero to ten, ten years old for Sabuanga City and Isabela City. So, um, as of this report, we have a total of 96.44%. No, our target is 95%, but we are we are targeting, no? although this is the yung 95% is yung ang ideal na, na target, but uh, our region has been um, has been aiming for a 100% kasi sayang din naman yung 5% na mali left out. So we really try to reach an, up to 100% or more. So yung um, campaign natin for polio is extended from August 3 to uh, August 9. So until this is until Sunday. And hopefully, especially yung mga nanay natin eh, na hindi pa nakapabakuna or hindi pa nabigyan ng polio yung mga anak to bring their children to, or to report to the health facilities para they can be provided with uh, the polio vaccine. So, for the month of August, no, so... Uh, we will be celebrating the National Breastfeeding Awareness Month. And um, especially this in this time of pandemic, na mahihirapan yung mga nanay na magbibili ng, um, ng gatas no, sa mga grocery. Then, um, we believe na yung breastfeed, yung breastfeeding pa rin ay pinaka-importante. So our, for the team of uh, this month's celebration of breastfeeding is breastfeeding check. No? So, okay, so, um, yung breastfeeding check natin, no? Tama, sapat, at eksklusibo. Tama, sapat, at eksklusibo. So, sakto siya, kompleto, and um, we we want to, we encourage yung mga nanay na it will be an exclusive breastfeeding. No? Walang kasamang tubig or other uh, supplements kung nag-breastfeeding uh, tayo. So, ibida ang pagpapasuso tungo sa wais at malusog na pabamayan. So ito yung mga ito yung mga uh, health advocacies and health education na gagawin natin for this time. And also um patuloy pa rin natin ang laban sa mga infectious diseases tulad ng COVID-19. And we would like to remind everyone na yung mga quarantine na ginagawa natin, no, yung like enhanced tayo, nag modified and then na general community quarantine um, hindi pa natin na uh, hindi ito ang gamot ng COVID-19 so as of now, nandito pa rin yung COVID-19 sa atin especially in areas kung saan yung mataas yung, uh, yung community transmission so patuloy pa rin natin na sundin yung bida solusyon laban sa COVID-19. So, sa letter B, bawal ang walang face mask. No? So, tingnan mo ako, may naka-face mask pa rin. And then, dapat isanitize natin ang mga kamay. No? So, dapat, especially kung lalabas tayo or pagbalik natin sa bahay natin, dapat may naka-prepare, naka-ready na yung uh, alcohol at saka kung lalabas tayo ay magbaon uh, na rin tayo ng alcohol. And then importante is the distansya ng isang metro. No? So um, especially sa mga sa mga workplaces kasi kung nakikita natin yung uh, cases natin ngayon minsan nasa mga workplaces and even nasa mga sariling bahay natin. So 
And then for letter A, alamin ang tamang information sa ating mga reliable sources. No? So, ulan ng... Uh, we also have our social uh, uh, media account na DOH sa Buangla Peninsula Facebook page at saka sa PIA Western Mindanao Facebook page. So, Again, uh, we would like to remind uh, no, na dapat ito yung uh, palaging message natin na yung virus ay nandito pa rin sa atin at saka ito ay naka, naka, kung makita natin yung status natin, tumataas pa rin yung mga cases natin. So, this is already a kailangan na ito ng pag-iiba ng mindset natin na dapat uh, maskin nasa GCQ na tayo, dapat we will consider na nasa ECQ pa din tayo. No? Na dapat gagamitin pa din natin yung face mask, face shield, at saka importante yung distancing. And kung hindi kailangan na lumalabas tayo, no? na we, have, we still have to stay at home kung pwede lang para talagang maiiwasan natin yung uh, pag ganap ng ating mga ng virus. So, uh, for this, uh, my I would like also uh, again to thank our frontliners, our homeliners, yung media partners natin, especially uh, ang PIA na, that facilitated this uh, information para sa lahat ng mga uh, media practitioners we would like to extend our thanks no sa suporta at saka sa pag um sa pag laban kontra nitong covid-19 so in behalf of our regional director dr emilia monisimpo and to our uh, health promotion staff uh, headed by Ma'am Virgie Galareta. We would like to say again, uh, thank you, good day, happy weekends, and together we heal as one. So God bless us all, my, and back to you. Okay. Doc, uh, good morning again, Doc. Now, thank you for the update and also update, Doc, sa mga ano po natin, ibang programs natin. But before we let you go, Doc, can we ask questions po ba? We have questions here from our media partners and also from our viewers. Doc, few questions lang po. First po is, for, uh, is from Sir Albert Luna of TV11. For Doc Josh, Doc, may recovery plan na ba ang region for COVID-19? Sabi kasi ni Dr. Rivera na infectious disease, especially na dapat two months ago na paghandaan na ito para may patutunguhan ang mga sacrifices ng LGU at ng health sector. Yes, uh, in fact, may, uh, ito yung um, we are already planning especially yung sa new normal natin. That's why uh, we have uh, may, may pinupropose na tayo, no? especially for 20 uh, 2021 na budget na dapat lahat ng mga hospitals natin ay mayroon na tayong uh, infectious uh, ward na kompleto with negative pressure and also yung mga equipments and in fact we have to increase especially the number of our ICUs and mechanical ventilators kasi hindi lang naman ito yung uh, we are really expecting na may pabalik-balik na itong mga uh, epidemics na na kita natin. Thank you, Doc. Okay. Doc, uh, na-mention po ninyo kanina na yung ating mga data po, yung data natin on our uh, in Zamboanga Peninsula and also in Zamboanga City. So we have concern po. This is from Dr. Cecil Aboy of RPND Triple X. CHO reveal, uh, CHO data reveals 21 deaths as of August 4. Lacking lacking man po ang sa DOH. Per DOH 277 active cases. Per CHO data it's already 288. Why the discrepancy doc? Um I remember that um, yung, kung ang city ay 
mayroon din silang sariling uh, data gathering and uh, DOH we are just um, we are just dependent doon sa mga report ng mga LGU so minsan may discrepancy especially kung mas nauna ng report yung sa LGU kaysa DOH Thank you, Doc, for the clarification. Next question po, Doc. Would you recommend Zamboanga City to go back to ECQ if ever continues pa rin ang, pag ang pagtaas ng cases po? For the past several days, pataas ng pataas pa rin at may mga additional deaths. Yes, uh, but we have to assess also, hindi lang naman yung cases na ang parameter that we can, well, that we will recommend uh, for uh, for upgrading, no, yung upscaling, yung uh, quarantine protocols, but we also have to consider, especially yung healthcare capacity. So we reported, kanina, including yung healthcare capacity, na as of this time, uh, we are still within the threshold, noon sa mga uh, critical care and uh, severe cases natin. So. So as of this time, um, especially if our local government units will be proactive, especially doon sa contact tracing and also yung isolation areas nila. Um, so we do not see any problem na kailangan natin iakyat uli ng uh, enhanced or modified enhanced community quarantine ang Sambuanga Peninsula. So... Kaya we are reporting every day and we are coordinating closely with the local government units and also with the, with the hospitals natin. No? Na, dapat uh, kung ma-insure lang natin na uh, nandito intact pa rin yung, uh, yung response ng mga LGU especially doon sa mga, sa mga parameters na kailangan natin na uh, the, to ensure that um, all these cases and also our healthcare workers will not be overwhelmed. So, dapat uh, naka-install siya. And also, uh, doon naman sa doon naman sa sa mga sa community quarantine or sa mga lockdown na ginagawa natin, um, in fact, ang ating OCD or ang ating uh, interagency task force no, came up with a a zoning uh, scheme, especially in locking down. So, hindi naman lahat ng area will be locked down, but it will be uh, more on granular lockdown. No, pwede siya ng sitio, pwede siya compound, or pwede siya na isang barangay, depende sa cases. Okay, thank you, Doc. Doc, last question na lang po. Yung mga LSIs na naka-quarantine sa hotel, if, um, yes, upon arrival po nila, lahat po ba sila ay natetest or nag undergo po ba ng testing? Kasi po yung iba nga nakaka without, na, pinapa-uwi sila after the quarantine nila or, or quarantine period nila, pinapa-uwi sila. But um, it turns out that yung result nila ay positive pala. So, paano po ito, Doc? Uh, doon sa quarantine, uh, especially yung mga LSI natin, uh, once na, na quarantine sila, no, maskin without uh, any um, laboratory examination, as long within the period of 14 days na wala silang signs and symptoms, pwede naman silang pauwiin. No? And then for those na may mga yung nakukuna ng swab, yung tulad nung sinasabi mo na after nung nakauwi na, doon, saka na lumabas yung uh, test result na positive pala, uh, as long as na-quarantine siya for 14 days and then wala siyang clinical signs and symptoms of influenza-like illness, so um, safe naman siya na mailabas doon as long, kasi yung 14 days na quarantine, um, in fact, yung sabi nga ng ibang uh, countries, hanggang 10 days lang sila. Pero sa atin dito, inabot natin ng 14 days to make sure na when they leave the quarantine facilities, um, yung, yung virus, in case na mayroon siyang virus, 
ay hindi na siya maka-close ng uh, infection or uh, transmission. And, but still, we encourage, especially yung nasa quarantine, na pagdating nila doon sa bahay nila, kung naka sila, dapat uh, they still have to practice the minimum health standards, yung distancing, paggamit, pagsuot ng uh, face mask or face shield, and uh, yung frequent hand washing, dapat uh, they still have to uh, practice that. Uh, salamat po, Doc. Uh, that's our last question from our guests and from, uh, from our media partners and from our viewers. So, Doc, maraming salamat. Thank you for your update and sa ating message po sa lahat na ating manonood. Until next week po, Doc. Yes, until next, next week, ma, we see you again next week. And thank you very much. Okay. Talk I don't my guests natin. Uh, thank you for attending. Okay. Thank you, Doc. And have a safe and healthy weekend po. Happy weekend sa inyong lahat dyan. Bye-bye. Bye, Doc. Salamat. Okay, again, that was uh, Dr. Joshua Brillantes po, the Assistant Regional Director of Department of Health, Region 9. Maraming salamat po muli sa Department of Health for giving us um update, regular update po patungkol sa COVID-19 status natin sa buong Zamboanga Peninsula. We will be right back po after our short break. Makakasama na po natin ang ating special guest for our Kapian na Zamboanga to talk about the bloodletting activity that they will be conducting for next week po. Yan. So abangan po ninyo sa pagbabalik po yan ng Kapihan na Zamboanga. Patuloy pa rin ang laban natin sa COVID-19. And together, we can beat the solution. B. Bawal walang mask. I. Isanitize sa mga kamay. Iwas hawak sa mga bagay. D. Kumistansya ng isang metro. A. Alamin ang totoong informasyon tungkol sa COVID-19. Protektahan natin ang sarili. At mga mahal sa buhay. b i b a b i b a s o l u t i o n sa COVID-19! Kaibigan, alam mo na ba kung anong dapat gawin upang iwasan at supuin ang COVID-19? Iwasang hawakan ng bibig, mata, at ilong. Laging maghugas ng kamay gamit ang sabon at tubig sa loob ng dalawampung segundo. Linisin ang mga bagay na palaging hinahawakan. Kumain ng balanse at masusustansyang pagkain. Matulog ng sapat, huwag magpupuyat. Stay home! Sa wastong pag-iingat, ang virus hindi kakalat. COVID-19, kayang-kaya nating tapusin. Nasistress ka na ba? Nagpapanik o natatakot dahil sa COVID-19? Normal lang ang ganitong mga reaksyon sa ngayon. Pero may magagawa ka para mapagtagumpayan ang sitwasyon na ito. Ituloy lang ang pangangamusta sa mga kamag-anak at kaibigan gamit ang text, tawag o video. Tiyakin na ang mga bata ay ligtas at nasa maayos na kalagayan. Gawin sa bahay ang mga nakasanayan upang hindi mabagot o mabalisa sa panahong ito. Sa wastong pag-iingat, ang virus hindi kakalat. COVID-19, kayang-kaya nating tapusin. Kaibigan, huwag ka na munang lumabas ng inyong bahay, maliban na lang kung bibili ng pagkain o may emergency. Tandaan ang mga sumusunod, kung kailangan lumabas ng bahay, magsuot ng mask. Siguruhin may isang metro ang layo sa ibang tao. Magdala lagi ng alcohol o alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Huwag hawakan ang iyong mukha. Sa wastong pag-iingat, ang virus hindi kakalat. COVID-19, kayang-kaya nating tapusin. Nagbabalik pong muli ang Kapiyan na Zamboanga. Ako pa rin po si Mayra Espinosa. At magsama-sama po tayo ngayon sa ating second segment po na ating programa. Makakasama po natin ngayong araw si Sir Rogen Covarubas, the past Primiserius or Prime of Centilia Uris Wimsu College of Law Chapter. Magandang umaga po, Sir. Ah, nakamute po tayo, Sir. Okay, sige po. Good morning po. Batiin po natin ang ating mga viewers ngayong araw. Uh, Nakamute po tayo, sir. Okay, so again po, makakasama natin si Sir Rogen Covarubias po. They will be having their bloodletting activity ngayong August 14. So, alamin natin kung ano yung mga details on this activity. Paano tayo makaka-participate, no? especially sa ating mga viewers. So, okay. So, tignan po natin kung uh, oh. nakamit po tayo. Okay, so, hitayin po muna natin si Sir Rogen Covarubias to 
assist lang po natin. Medyo may uh, technical problem lang po tayo. So this bloodletting activity, we would also like to know, no? Kasi um, meron na nga tayong napapabalita na nagkukulang na po ang ating um, blood bank. So kailangan na rin natin mag-conduct ng mga bloodletting activities para rin po sa mga nangangailangan pa ng ng blood. So, kung meron pong interesado sa inyo na mag-donate, ngayong August 14 po yan, ay maaari po kayong makipag-coordinate sa organization po nila para, para malaman po natin kung ano yung mga kinakailangan upang makaparticipate tayo. Okay? So, opo. So, again, we have Sir Rogen. Sir, test po natin yung ating audio kung marinig na po natin. Okay, so I think we still don't have an audio. Okay, so uh, supposed to be po makakasama rin natin yung Department of Social Welfare and Development but unfortunately, uh, medyo busy po sila ngayon to talk about po sana on uh, the uh, returning Filipinos from Saba, yung kanilang mga paghahanda sa mga dumarating po na REFs dito sa Zamboanga. So, um, yun, sana po abangan natin sila by our next episodes, coming episode po, para malaman natin kung ano po yung mga programs nila. Okay, so now we have Sir Rogen. Ayun, good morning po, Sir. Good morning, and good morning. Okay, Sir, we would like to know po, on August 14, your organization in partnership in partnership with the government agencies and private sectors, we'll conduct a blood drive at the Philippine Red Cross in Zamboanga. So tell us about po on the on this pro, on this activity natin, Blood Sparks for Life. How and why did you decide that po to hold this activity? Okay, no. uh, Blood Sparks for Life is a blood donation drive. Uh, this is a nationwide project of the Sintila Yuris Fraternity. Astrumcenti uh, Sorority and Tela Yuris Sorority. This will be held simultaneously in 14 different places in the country on August 14, 2020. The idea actually uh, came about when some of our brads in Manila uh, got infected with this coronavirus disease and eventually have recovered, uh, started to donate their blood, in particular, itong tawag nilang uh, convalescent plasma. Thus, naisip gawin itong project. At saka, timely din, uh, dito sa city, dito sa Sambuanga, um, the Wimsu, uh, the Sintila Yuris Wimsu College of Law Chapter will be celebrating its 24th anniversary. So, igagawa din, na, eh, gagawin din natin to, I mean, ikakandak natin ang blood donation drive dito sa Sambuanga. So nabanggit po ninyo sir na this will be a uh, on on the day po a simultaneous po natin gagawin ito uh, nationwide. Yes ma'am. Okay, so that's good news po sir no. So now sir, can you tell us ab about the organization? Ano po yung what are some of our services that we give po? Uh Sintila Yuris, uh, uh, a quick background. Uh, Sintila Yuri is founded on October 14, 1966 by 14 honor students at the College of Law of the University of the Philippines, Diliman. Through the years, uh, chapters were established in other UP campuses. They also established um, our counterparts, the Astrum Shenti Sorority and the Stella Yuri Sorority. And eventually, they decided to also establish chapters in other universities, but in College of Law and in law schools and in College of Medicines only. Uh, the adherence to the rule of law, intellectual integrity, and academic excellence became the ideals of the fraternity. Social involvement is one of our driving force to propagate these ideals. Thus, free legal consultation, medical missions, training and seminars, and other worthwhile activities are among our services that we conduct. 
Thank you po sir for um, the brief background po no, of, or for telling us about your organization. Sir, going back to our activity on the Blood Sparks for Life, sir, pwede po ba namin malaman kasi sa ating mga viewers ngayon, we, baka po may mga interesado na gustong mag-donate also. So, paano po sila mga ka-register or um, pwede po ba walk-in donors po ito on the day of the activity? Uh, yes ma'am, pwede tayong mag-walk-in. So, gagawin ito sa sa Red Cross, dito sa Petit Barracks. Pero, um, we strictly uh, follow the protocols and the guidelines of the DOH. So, meron tayong maximum of 50 donors lang yeah, per activity, like itong blood donation activity. Pero sa ngayon, ay, ay, hindi ko pa alam kung ilan na ang estimate na number na magdadonate. Pero so far, a good number naman siya. Please speak. Kasi we partnered with uh, different uh, agencies, both public and private sectors. Okay. So at least 50 po pala yung ating target na makaka... Yes, na, Opo. yes. Na. Sumusunod but, tayo sa protocol or mm, the guidelines ng DOA. Okay. So, opo, uh, sir, we also like to know kung um, ito, uh, okay, so yung paano po yung mga nanonood ngayon na, na gustong mag-register, paano po sila makaka-register? Do you have any contact number po? Yeah, um, they can contact me. Um, this is my number. I don't know if pwede i-plug dito. Uh, 0917-711-2329 or they can go directly sa, sa Red Cross ngayong uh, next week, Friday, at 8 o'clock in the morning to 12. So, pwede po silang mag-walk-in kung sakasakali yes, po ay may available slots pa tayo? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, maraming salamat po. Sir, any more um, acknowledgements po natin sa ating mga partners na nagsusupport po on this program activity natin? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, we would like to extend our gratitude to our partners in this endeavor. Uh, maraming salamat sa Puriculture Hospital at Red Philippine Red Cross sa 904 uh, Maneuver Company of the PNP, Task Force Sambuanga, uh, Philippine Information Agency at DSWT. We also have partners in the private sector. Maraming salamat sa Julie's Bake Shop, K-Town Grocer, Coffee One, at uh, Grace Beauty Products. Sir, one last question na lang po. Aside po ba, after this Blood Sparks for Life na activity natin, meron pa po ba tayong mga future plans or programs na isasagawa amidst the COVID-19 crisis po na nangyayari ngayon? I think uh, itong blood donation drive is just a start. I think we continue. Especially itong yung sinasabi ko na convalescent plasma. Actually, regular na yung pagdo-donate nito sa kano at isasabay ito sa sa simultaneous uh, blood donation at, at gagawin nata ito sa Saint Luke's BGC. Thank you po, sir. Alam po natin no na sobrang napaka importante po ng ating oo, etong pagkandak natin ng ng blood drive dahil marami po ang nangangailangan po ng dugo ngayon, especially sa ating mga hospitals na marami-rami rin po ang mga naka-admit na, naka ngayon sa ating mga hospitals. Maraming salamat po and um, congratulations in advance po sa inyong activity na ikakandak and thank you po for, your, for this opportunity po para i-inform natin and invite or encourage natin ng ating mga viewers also to participate sa ating activity. Thank you po, Sir Rogen. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Okay. Once again po, that was Sir Rogen Covarubias, the past premiseries of Sintilia Uris, a Wimsu College of Law chapter. Ayun, so nalaman natin kung ano yung ginagawa ng kanilang organization. And also, na nalaman rin po natin kung ano yung activity na ikakandak nila. So hopefully po ay maka-attend kayo, maka-participate kayo. But of course, we still follow the minimum health standards na uh, ipinapatupad dito po sa Zamboanga City. So sa Zamboanga City po yan, sa Philippine Red Cross po,
on Friday, August 14. Next Friday po yan, ikakandak ang bloodletting activity at 8am. So, magkita-kita po tayo doon sa mga interested po na mag-donate ng blood. For advanced registration, pwede po ninyong tawagan ang contact number na ito to register. Contact 0917-711-2329. And also, you may visit po ang kanilang Uh, organization Facebook page. So, yan po, naka-flash sa screen ninyo ang contact number na pwede niyong tawagan for pre-registration kung interested po kayong mag-donate ng blood upang makatulong pa po tayo ng maraming uh, pasyente po. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, ngayon, before we end our program, we have reminders po for Zamboanga, for Zamboanga City. It is still under GCQ. Please stay safe po and stay at home. Wear your face mask, practice social distancing and frequent hand washing. Maraming salamat po muli sa ating mga guests po. We have Sir uh, Doc Joshua Brillantes of DOH and we have Sir Rogen Covarubias. Maraming salamat po sa inyong time. In behalf of our Regional Director, Ma'am Noemi Edaga, we thank you po for your time and for this opportunity. Thank you po. Panawagan po sa mga residente ng Zamboanga City kung sino po ang nakakakilala kay Shaina Lynn Atari. Humihingi po si Shaina Lynn ng medical assistance sa DSWD. Ngunit hindi niya na ibigay ang ilang mga importanteng detalye. Si Shaina Lynn Atari ay isang PWD 20 years old, taga Giwan, Zamboanga City. Pakitawag po sa DSWD 9 sa 9910858 at hanapin si Emily Natividad ng Protective Services Division. Now, okay? Next po, maraming salamat po muli. Special thanks to our media friends and followers in Zamboanga Peninsula, Basilan, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi for tuning in. Stay tuned po sa PIA Western Mindanao Facebook page for more truthful news and information. Thank you to our partners, DICT Mindanao Cluster 1, Imedia Mo, Solid, Mindanao Cable Television, RMNDX RZ Zamboanga City, RMNDX PR Pagadian City, RPND Triple X Zamboanga, Radio Pilipinas, DXNO Basilan, DXGD Bongao, Tawi-Tawi, City Government of Zamboanga, PIO Team, Philippine National Police Regional Office 9, Team Tabak, Victory Zamboanga del Sur Facebook page, Regional Interagency Task Force on Emerging Infectious Diseases, Department of Health Region 9, Zamboanga Press Club Incorporated, and Mindanao Communicators Network. Again po, maraming salamat sa ating mga guests and thank you to Department of Health for always giving us update po and Belated happy birthday po kay Ma'am Crystal, ang ating um, um, always po na nag assist from Department of Health. Belated happy birthday, Ma'am Crystal Intal de la Serna. Okay? And thank you to our PIA team for making this Kapihan episode possible po. And see you next week po sa ating mga susunod pa na Kapihan and Bantay COVID Zampen Public Briefing episodes natin. Maraming salamat po. Stay updated po. At parati po namin pinapaalala, stay home, stay safe, and stay alive po. Ito pong muli si Mara Espinosa para sa Kapian na Zamboanga. Muchisimas gracias.